She never mentioned to me that she was molested by Dee Dee. And we talked a lot about our families. And if there was any truth to that, I would know about it. But Dr. Tiffany Davis Henry, who has never treated Crawford or Whitney, says there could be another reason. We would like to think that the person who is, has been victimized would come to us and would tell us these things. But the reality is, uh, many people live their entire lives while keeping secrets. This could have been something that Whitney just chose to keep private uh, for her entire life. Robin also told Today that while Whitney ended their physical relationship before she became famous, she still supported her choice to marry Bobby Brown. You left the inner circle um, as a result of, of Bobby Brown. There was a... That's not true. No? No. Bobby was annoying. He was very annoying. So why did, but... you, why, why did you two end up falling, falling out? If who? You, who? You, and, said... you and Whitney. You know what? Whitney and I didn't fall out. I was always there for her. She knew that. Do you think that if you had been as close as you were to her in the 80s that Whitney might still be alive today? You know what? I don't know what would happen, what would have happened if I would have stayed. A lot of people do feel as though there's something that they might have been able to do had they just had one more conversation. You know, the truth really is there's nothing that any of us can do if the person who is using who's um, addicted to a substance or to alcohol isn't willing or ready to stop using.